So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in your MongoDB aggregation framework tutorial in which we're going to take a look at what the project operator is in MongoDB and how you can make it work for yourself and why it is very powerful. So the project operator, what it allows you is to spit out a bunch, a handful of fields only, right? So what do I mean by that? You see, when we match the document, we get all the fields right here, right? And then maybe uh, when I unwind it later on, I get individual documents with all the other fields as well. But in this case, you see that we did not really make use of age at all. So why do we have to worry about this over and over again, right? So if I go ahead and remove this group statement here, it's going to make more sense. If I run this, let's see what's the error. We have an extra brace here. If I run this, you're going to see that we have so many documents. And actually, let's just remove the match as well. So we have only the unwind and we have so many documents split by the language, right? So what I want to do is probably before actually getting into it, I want to project a certain number of fields into this particular pipeline chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say project and I'm going to create a new operator like this. So I'm going to say that I only want to project these many fields. So I'm going to say username as one and age as one, right? Or maybe languages as one, because that's what we are unwinding, right? So if I run this, you're going to see now we do not have age field with us in any of the document. Why? Because when I use the project operator, it actually returned me all the documents without the age in them. So you see, these are the documents and you can see all of these documents do not really have any age in them at all. So if I place the unwind call now and run it, you're gonna see that it unwinds it on the basis of just the original documents, username and languages, right? Project also allows you to rename the fields. And how does it do that? Well, you can do it by saying something like this. So I can say, uh, for example, name of user, and I can write in username here inside string, right? And I'm gonna keep languages as same because that is what we are using to unwind it. So I'm gonna run this, and you can see that now instead of username, I get the field name as name of user for all the records, right? So this is how you're gonna rename, and you can also rename it to languages as well language as like that and you can write languages here but then you gotta split it by language here because this is what this document is reading unwind is reading this particular document which is spit out by the project so it now needs to unwind it by language instead of small language so you see it works just like previously but now in a in a better way i would say Right, so this is how you're gonna make use of project operator to rename the fields and select a bunch of fields out of that. Obviously, you can just disable the ID if you want by passing ID zero, just like you would do with regular queries, and you're gonna get your nice little clean document out of it. So yeah, that's that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then in the next one.